SourceFed. Hey, Elliot here. It's almost the end of the year, and if I had to choose an internet word of 2012, it would be butthurt. Despite having been around for a while, the wonderful minds over at Gawker released a comprehensive review of what this word means, explaining where it comes from and why it's so astonishingly stupid. But was Gawker right in their assumption? Besides the word's inherent crudeness, should it be dismissed from our internet and or actual lingo? First, let's begin with the word's Urban Dictionary definition. An inappropriately strong negative emotional response from a perceived personal insult, characterized by strong feelings of shame, frequently associated with the cessation of communication and overt hostility towards the aggressor. Now, this definition presents us with a flaw. It does not bring into question the frequency or criteria under which this term is utilized. Such criteria, like most things on the internet, is subjective. Gawker does an excellent job of defining the word through its evolution. According to the author, the sentiment that fuels butthurt can be traced back to the ever-popular you mad, and then later, you jelly. Both terms used to divert attention away from the debate itself and place it on the debaters. Now, that's the sentiment that fuels butthurt. The word itself, however, alludes to forced anal sex, the victim of which is pathetic and weak and therefore holds invalid opinion. In this sense, butthurt can be placed alongside other politically incorrect lingo, such as saying something lame is gay or using the ever popular homophobic F word as an offhanded insult. The top commenter is just butthurt because he's a b Here's my valid argument regarding my stance on a hot button issue. You don't gotta be all butthurt about hey, it. Hey Lee, did you see how, how butthurt Steve got when we insulted Ewoks? Because he's a b so perhaps the sentiment and etymology of butthurt make a case for its dismissal, but what about when someone is overreacting? Is there a difference between this- Joe, I'm gonna need you to finish that story in about 10 minutes, okay? Oh, uh, well maybe I'm having a little bit of trouble finding a second source for the guy that claims he's in Whoa, Asia. butthurt much? <laughs> And this. Joe, I need you to finish that story in like 10 minutes, okay? Yeah, no problem. I just gotta find a second source for the whoa, guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Butthurt much? The greater debate at work here has nothing to do with the word butthurt, and this is where we divert away from the gawker piece. Objections to the use of butthurt are rooted in a desire for political correctness and a belief that progress is best defined by not offending others. The other mindset of that, sort of the antithesis, the yin to that yang, is that progress is best defined by our ability to not be offended. These two mindsets result in two polar opposites, which are displayed on the web. Neither, in my opinion, truly promoting any sort of equality. Let me know what you think about this new word in the comment section down below, unless you're gonna be all butthurt about it. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, click this annotation for our five daily stories, and you can go to sourcefed.com to see all sorts of news. My name is Elliot Morgan. Have a wonderful day. Stay kind down there.